is Priscilla Kasa and welcome to my channel Priscano Kim. So in my last video I talked about identification of glassware. Um, I talked about some of the common glassware that can be found in the chemistry lab and their uses. And today I'm gonna show you how to prepare a solution from a stock solution. So today's title, title of the activity is preparation of solutions from stock solution preparation of solutions from stock solution and let me take you through um, the materials and the um, the things you are going to need for today's practical i have here with me a stock solution of hydrochloric acid hcl a stock solution of hydrochloric acid hcl i have here my volumetric flux which is filled with water volumetric flux which is filled with water I have here my measuring cylinder, my wash bottle which contains distilled water, and my funnel, and my funnel. Alright, so I'm going to read the problem. I have a problem here and I'm going to read it and I'm going to sh um, demonstrate to you how you can prepare the solution. So I read, given the acid below on a bottle of HCL stock solution. Show how you will prepare 250 ml of 0.2 molar solution each for a class of 15 students. i read again. Given the assay below on a bottle of HCL stock solution, show how you will prepare 250 ml of 0.2 molar solution each for a class of 15 students. So that is the problem. And the acid is density. Density of the ACL is 1.26 gram per cm cube. The percentage purity of ACL is 36%. And the molecular weight of the ACL is 36.5 gram per mole. So when you look on the board, the acid is here. I've written the assay here on the board. What I just read, that's the assay. So the density is 1.26 gram per cm cube. The purity is 36%. And the molecular weight or molar mass is 36.5 gram per mole. So this is the assay. Now, someone will ask, what is a stock solution? What is a stock solution? Stock solutions are solutions of higher concentrations of maximum purity of reagent yeah so normally the Winchester bottle contains the stock solution and on the Winchester bottle you will find some useful information that can help us to calculate for the mass concentration of the ACL and this useful information is called an acid every Winchester bottle has an acid written on it so on this bottle here it, it is a hydrochloric acid and if the camera can break it closer yes hydrochloric acid and on it we can see sp.gr which is the same as the density and some bottles you see specific gravity some bottles you see density so here is sp.gr which is 1.18 and we have the percentage purity which is here which is written here 35 to 38 percent weight over weight so yes weight over weight so this is how we get the assay so you, you will not find the assay in any textbook normally the assay is written on the winchester bottle so you have to look for it and write it yes but this hcl is different from the question I read is different because from the bottle the specific gravity or density is 1.18 but from what I read it is 1.26 it's 1.26 I, I brought this one here because I wanted to show you how to get the assay on the Winchester bottle that's why I brought this one here for demonstrations purposes okay but we are not going to use the assay on this Winchester bottle we are using the one I read from the book. Alright, so let's continue. Now, 
before you calculate, before you prepare the solution, sorry, there are some steps you need to follow. And I have done it very simple. You will not find it, you will not find these steps in any textbook. You will not find it like I have written it. This is what I have done to make the preparation of solution very simple. So it involves four steps. The first step is you, you know the acid. So the acid will be given in the question. But if it is not given in the question, you have to find it on the Winchester bottle. The second one is calculate for the mass concentration. The third is calculate for the molarity. The fourth is calculate for the initial volume using the dilution formula or the dilution law. All right, so this, this is the four simple steps that I have outlined and I'm going to follow this to prepare the solution. So the first is know the acid. So the acid is already written here on the board. It was stated in the question. So we know the acid already. The density, the percentage purity, and the molar mass of ACL. All right, so we go to the next step, which is calculate for the mass concentration. So for the mass concentration, we will use the formula is on the board. Mass concentration is percentage purity times density times thousand. That's the formula. Percentage purity times density times thousand. So we are going to do substitution. Here it is mathematics. It's no more chemistry. So you have to do substitution. So wherever you see percentage purity from the formula, you put in a value here, which is 36. Then the density, which is 1.26 gram per cm cube. Then you multiply it by 1,000. You multiply it by 1,000 because the unit for the density is gram per cm cube. But the unit for mass concentration is gram per dm cube. So you have to convert the cm cube to dm cube. That is why we multiplied it by 1,000. So if you multiply it by 1,000, it's going to take care of the unit. It's going to convert the cm cube to dm cube. That's why we multiply it by 1,000. So I've already done the calculation. And after the calculation, the answer is 453.6 gram per dm cube. After doing the substitution, get 453.6 gram per dm cube. So we are done with step two. So that is the answer. Now we go to step three. Step three is calculate for the molarity. So for the molarity, the formula is here. As you can see, molarity, which is represented by C, is equal to mass concentration over molecular weight. Mass concentration over molecular weight. Now we have already calculated for the mass concentration, which is the second step we did. And we had 453.6 grams per dm cube. And we already know the molecular weight, which is here. It was stated in the question which is here, again you do substitution. So you divide the mass concentration and the molecular weight. And the answer is 12.43 molar, which is this one. 12.43 molar. So the molarity of the ACL is 12.43 molar. So we are done with step three. Now we come to the final step, which is the initial volume. Using the dilution formula, V1, C1 is equal to V2, C2. Now, you have to define the terms, okay? You have to define it. I am not using C1, V1, as most of you know. I am using CI, VI is equal to CF, VF. So, my I means that initial and the F is final. That's what I'm using. But if you want to maintain C1, V1, you have to define it. The 1 is what, the 2 is what, you have to define it. So I am using I and F instead of 1 and 2. So now, yeah, we have to determine the volume. The volume that we are going to, uh, the volume of the stock solution that we will need to dilute it. Yes, and that's when we use the dilution law. So from the dilution law, according to the question, our final concentration is from the question I, I read, okay, which is 0 0.2 molar. Then the final volume is 250 because the question says we should prepare a 
250 mL of 0.2 molar solution. So the final volume is 250. And our initial concentration is the molarity we calculated. And that is 12.48 molar. So we do substitution. And after fixing in the values, this is the answer I got. 4.023 mL. So which means that before you prepare a 0.2 molar solution, you need 4 mL of the stock solution. So you need 4 mL of the stock solution. So that's what we are going to do. You need 4 mL of the stock solution. So the 4 mL is here in the measuring cylinder. Yes, I poured some of the stock solution into the reagent bottle. Yes. But before I start with the operation, I need to wear gloves so, because the ACL is very concentrated. Yes, so you have to wear gloves so that if accidentally some poured in your hand, at least you know that you are protected. You are really, really protected from getting hurt. Right? So the gloves is too small for my so please pardon me. I have to manage too small for my hand. Alright, so this region bottle contains some of the stock solution. Yes. So this is a conch acid. So four mil. I already I've already poured it in the um, the measuring cylinder which is 4 mil, if the camera can come a little bit closer. This is 4 mil of the acid. So what is in the measuring cylinder is the conch acid from the calculation. Yes. So you are going to prepare our solution. Now, one of the safety precautions is that you add acid to water, not water to acid. That is why I already filled my volumetric flask with distilled water. Yes, I don't want to cause any explosion in the lab. So that's why I did it. So with the aid of my funnel, I'm going to transfer the 4 mil of the stock solution. The 4 mil that I calculated on the board. I've, I've already measured it here. And I'm going to transfer it into the volumetric flask containing the distilled water. So gently, you transfer it. You transfer it, then you rinse the the but I have to remove the the glove because it's too small for my hand. Then you rinse, you carefully rinse the measuring cylinder. You rinse it, you rinse it, you rinse the acid and add it to the one in the volumetric flask. Alright, you take the funnel off. Then you try to top up to the meniscus, to the eye level. So you top up, that's what I'm doing now. You, you gently top up and make sure it does not exceed the meniscus. It does not exceed the meniscus. So that's what I'm doing now. That's what I'm doing now. From the meniscus okay so I'll have to check yes so it is on the meniscus you cover it nicely and you try to shake a little bit shake gently shake gently shake gently shake and that's it you have prepared our solution it's very simple, right? So you have to label it nicely. And in labeling, how do you label it? You label it by writing the concentration on it. So you take a small sheet of paper. So from the question, what we have prepared is 0 0.2 molar solution. So you write it 0 0.2 molar of HCl. So this is how you label it nicely. 
0.2 molar ACL. Then you wet the paper with some small amount of water so that it can stick on the volumetric flux. Yes, you can stick it. It's always important to label your solutions. Okay, then you label it nicely. So this is how we prepare a solution from a stock solution. It's very simple, very, very simple. So we are done with the preparation. We are done. So let me summarize everything for you before you prepare a stock solution. Sorry, before you prepare a solution from a stock solution, there are some four steps that you need to know. You will not find this in any steps, but this is something that I did. So you require four steps. The first is to know the assay. The second is calculate for the mass concentration of the stock solution. The third one is calculate for the molarity of the given stock solution. And the final step is calculate for the initial volume using the dilution law. So these are the four steps that you need to follow in order to prepare a solution from a stock solution. They are very, very simple. And the assay is either stated in the question, is given in the question, or it can be found on the Winchester bottle. Yes, so it depends. Either you find it on the Winchester bottle or it will be stated in the question. And for the assay, you need to know the density. Density or specific gravity. Um, the percentage purity of the compound you are dealing with and the molecular weight or the molar mass of the compound you are dealing with. So that is it. that is how you calculate for it. So you have to know the formulas, the various formulas you are supposed to use. So the formula for mass concentration is percentage purity times density times thousand. The thousand means that you are converting the, the unit, the cm cube of the density to dm cube. That's why you multiply by thousand. And for the molarity, the formula is mass concentration over molar mass. So if you are able to calculate for mass concentration, definitely you can do the calculation for the molarity. Then finally, using the dilution law, C1, V1 is equal to C2, V2. You make V1 the subject and you get your volume. So the V1 will tell you the volume you will need from the stock solution to be able to prepare the solution. Now, before I complete everything, I want to ask, um, you are a chemistry teacher and your school is fortunate to have a chemistry lab and there is a lab assistant who manages the lab. But for one or two reasons, he has not been coming um, to work. And your headmaster comes to you and tells you that, oh, as a chemistry teacher, I want you to prepare a solution for 15 students. As a teacher, what are you going to do? I've shown you how to do to prepare a solution, but this is not enough for 15 students. So imagine you are preparing for 15 students. This is not enough. This is assumed that it's only one person who is going to use this. So for 15 students, someone will ask, are you going to prepare a solution this 15 times? Are you going to do that? You can do it, but it is going to waste time. So what you can do is that since this is for one person, you multiply the 250 by 15 students by 15 that will give you um, the, the total volume for 15 students so in order to prepare for 15 students whatever volume you get for the initial volume which is vi you multiply this value by 15 when you multiply this value by 15 then you come and multiply the final volume which is the 250 you multiply that one also by 15. So whatever volume you get, that is going to be the volume you need to prepare for 15 students. You don't need to prepare this 15 times. No, 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 no. You are going to waste time. So that is how we do it. If the number of students is 30, if the number of students is 100, um, it's the same thing. It's the same knowledge. Whatever, you, whatever value you get for the initial volume, you multiply it by the number of students. After that, you come and multiply the final volume also by the number of students. You do ratio and proportion, then you prepare the solution. So if you have a very large 
uh, volumetric flask, then you prepare it in it. So that is how you you prepare solution. So I hope this video was useful. Please tell your colleagues about my channel. Tell your colleagues to subscribe to my channel, Prescano Chem. Please share. If you have any question on to, on what I've done today, please ask all your questions on the comment section and I'll be glad to answer them. If you want me to perform any practical for you, please tell me and I will gladly do that. And my next video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a solution from solid. Preparation of solution from solid. That's going to be my next my next activity, preparation of solution from solid. What I did today is preparation of solution from stock solution. From stock solution. So my next video will be preparation of solution from solids. Please take care of yourself and I'll see you in my next video.